All right, Coach, uh, finished the regular season with a win at Simon Fraser. You played a dangerous team on the road. You already had a league title, bowl invitation, already wrapped up. Could have been a trap game for you guys, but you went in there, got the win. How happy were you with your team's focus and preparation heading into that game? Yeah, honestly, I was really extremely happy after the fact. Going through the week, I told the team, it's probably one of the hardest weeks as a staff to coach um, because of all those things that you did list. But uh, part of it is that you're so proud of these guys because you can you knew who they were as people and that uh, they want to play college football. They want to be their absolute very best. They, they're they looking at the day-to-day -day processes of what they can do to achieve more. Um, and so it's the culture we strive to create, and it came through. I saw it in the game. There were, uh, there were, certain, there were certain times where you, you feel like you weren't getting yourself uh, out of third gear, grinding it a bit, uh, but that's... It was a tough game. It was tough emotionally, a tough game, psychologically a tough game um, against a very tough opponent. And so, um, yeah, I'm proud to finally see it click. Our guys took it, they competed, and they found a way to win. And, Coach, in that game, Terrell added another record. Uh, but, again, you got a great performance at quarterback out of Dasman Stewart. Is that type balanced offense what you envisioned before all the injuries disrupted that at the beginning of the year? Yes. I, I'd say we, when we talk about an offseason, what you want out of an offense, envision it to be, you want it to be a balanced offense, particularly with our system. We feel like our pass has to be a threat. I feel like it, we know that we have a good run scheme. We have a good running back. We have a, we have a commitment to run the football here. But yet we also know that in order for that run game to be completely successful, you've got to have a real threatening passing game and a fishing passing game. And also a passing game that, that can create the big plays like you did on last Saturday night. So that's where we're excited. I think the system uh, we use works well in, in all the different weather situations we run into. I think it utilizes the players well. And I know that uh, it, it creates a, an energy and excitement for the fans while uh, the true nuts and bolts of what makes successful football there. And then defensively. All year, your team has seemed to execute in pivotal moments, fourth down stops, mm -hmm. uh, turnovers in the red zone. Those all happen Saturday. Do you prefer a big play defense that might give up a few extra yards or a defense that looks a little bit better on the stat sheet? Well, I think it's you prefer a defense that can get the ball back, and that's the opportunity we want to have. Is you want to uh, you want to make sure your offense has more opportunities with the ball than the opposing offense does. And you know, one of the things that's a, a stat that that shows up. You look through it all. I think it says more the story of this whole season is. You know, our, our offense is number one in red zone in the league. Our defense is number one in red zone in the league. And then we're also the leader in turnover margin in the league. So, you know, if you, you know, bend, don't break, big play defense, it's just find a way to get the ball back without them scoring. And so uh, preference, obviously, we like to say, hey, no first downs. And we have a real commitment to defense here. But in the big picture, you know, you can have your stats way up, but if you didn't get that ball back and create more opportunities for the offense to have the ball to do something with it, then I think it's all those stats for not. So. Coach, probably tough question to answer, but going into the year, you know, now that we're at the end of it, mm -hmm. nine and two conference champions, did you did you envision this type of success for this team? Well, I think it. I mean, it sounds right. Like yes, in that, you know, as as a leader. With a program, as as a whole, co the whole staff, as the seniors, you expect to win. I mean, you want to make sure in January, as you roll out the plan for the year, you know the goals there are hey, winning it all. Uh, I think if you set anything less than that, um, then you're just almost you're building in, a, you know, just average, average, and making average be okay. So um, while we planned and worked hard to do this, we also knew that it would be very hard to do, and. Uh, but, you know, our players all, all off-season long were saying, hey, let's go BG in that champ, champs. Let's, let's win it all. Let's do our thing. We, we have a, a grand vision to, to be a nationally uh, a dominant football program. Uh, the whole attitude of why not us. And so you look at the 0-7 start uh, last year, and you say what, what you see happen is the leadership of the whole the, the coaching staff and our seniors and juniors um, – that big vision started back then, and they knew we had the eighth and nothing bolts together. They had to figure out how to win, and now it's beginning to carry over. So the culture is expecting to win. The culture is to expect greatness from yourself as a person. And so what we believe here is that if you treat people great, expect yourself to be great, great things happen. And I think you know we're glad to see some real fruit from that. What have been maybe some of the biggest surprises that you've had out of your team this year? 
I think that the record setting uh, of Terrell Watson was a good surprise and a big surprise. And knowing that no one really went in to go break records that way, but you know his play within the system, his play, uh, his selfless play for the team. All the, you're really happy to see a guy do that much with the ball. I mean, he's a special human being, and uh, what I think where people don't quite understand is that fueling behind that that ambition to to be per, a, a great performer isn't so much of be a great performer. It's more, hey, how do I help my team? So that's a great uh, a great one, and one for us. The big surprise. The other big surprise for us is just to see the uh, what what the fans can't see, and that is really our service teams, the offense and defense service teams, the culture that went throughout. They they did a they they played a huge role and pivotal role in helping us uh, raise the mean of our competitive uh, nature of our performance on the field. You know, this is probably one of the best years we've had, and this back to recruiting efforts of our scout teams uh, being just giving us a fast look. And at one point, uh, I know we had uh, we had some of our starters say that our own service squad is giving us a faster look than we saw on game day. Now, when you have that happen, it's going to elevate a lot of things. And you, it's the biggest uh, uh, conviction we have when we talk about recruiting is that it's an uh, old, old kind of theory that it's, I hate to break, you know, not a big statistical guy or a math guy, but it, one of the lessons I learned is a reversion to the mean. And if we can raise the mean of competitiveness and who our program is, then uh, what we revert to is just an, an elevated greatness. And I think in the past years, we haven't had that, that mean of uh, a great competitiveness of during practice. But our service guys who today do a great job throughout the whole year uh, really elevated that competitiveness in practice. Like those guys that you talked about on the service team uh, or your scout team, bringing them into next year along with, you know, now you're chasing a 10-win season. What is the significance of a 10-win season to take into next year along with that young group that you have coming back? Well, you're building momentum. Uh, a 10-win season on any level is extremely hard to do. And so we're to be at the, the doorstep of doing that, uh, it just it, it validates the hard work. It validates the convictions that our guys have had. It validates the core values of the program to know you, you're in that position to do it. Uh, moving forward to 2014, to have the young people that we do have in place, uh, it, it excites you, knowing that you know on the recruiting trail, like any great program, you need to be successful. You're competing all year round. Uh, one of our things our, our, our coaches really enjoy is the recruiting process. I know I... I love it. It's that you know, we're we're all competitors. I love getting on the road and, and, and telling people how great your university is. And and thing is, the other thing is that we when we recruit, we know that uh, it's more than just finding that athlete. It's like you really our our player, our coaches love the process of getting in to know somebody. And hey, you're you're going to be a part of our family. And that that recruiting process and it just it's exciting. So then to have a ten win season behind it, along with a um, a conference ring on your finger too. I think it's it's just a, it's an exciting deal, and so um, it's all the it's all the type of fruit you want, what you plan to do, you're grateful for, you're blessed. Uh, but on the flip side of things, you go it's a day by day, and we just say, hey, let's just win this one day in front of us. Uh, we don't exist in winning and losing, and so uh, those just as much as losing doesn't define us, winning doesn't either. It's going to go back to our core values and get back to the process and get back to being great people. And then last thing, as you prepare for the bowl game, uh, taking on Greenville, what do you know about Greenville? Uh, how excited are you uh, for that opportunity mm -hmm. to, to go after that 10 win, 10th win against the defending Victory Bowl champion? Uh, just what, what have you seen from them so far, and what type of experience are, are you most excited about playing in a bowl game? Yeah, I, I'd say Greenville's a very good football team. When I watch them on tape, I see a defense that flies around. I see an offense that knows their systems well. They get their quarterback's feet in the run game. I see, uh, I see special teams of conviction. Uh, and all that summarized to me when I talk to our staff about it and, and who it, it tells me is that they too are a brotherhood when they play. And as much as we believe ourselves to be a really rare, distinguished brotherhood who's, who's hungry to, to be the best man that they can be, that God created them to be, um, I, I see those type of things. I see a real evidence of they know who they are. And so playing the defending uh, Victory Bowl champion is a, is, it's a great opportunity for us. Uh, they, are, they are a very good football program. And so um, it's great that the bowl can match up two great teams like this between two good universities. Uh, it's, we're excited to get there and, and, and compete to try to get the 10th win.